So in South Africa, we tend to refer to brush cutters as weed eaters. But when I refer to weed eaters, I'm actually referring to these wonderful animals. So the amazing thing about these meat masters is that they graze as much as they browse, as much as they graze. They, they aren't traditional grass grazers in that they will eat pretty much anything. You've obviously got to be cautious about what's on the land and, and there are certain things you've got to look out for, but in general, they're very unfussy and actually do an incredible job of taking out the weeds. And if we're getting them into areas before those weeds flower, we can utilize them to, over time, reduce the number of weeds and help with the succession of those species of plants and grasses that we want to emerge. So again, it's important to understand that, that weeds are not necessarily a problem. Weeds are part of nature. Weeds are part of reclaiming disturbed land and creating, creating a, a binding, if you will, of, of exposed soil so that at, over time, the, the succession, the natural succession can occur and you can improve the health of the land. So to demonize weeds is something that I push quite heavily back against. But at the same time, if you can accelerate the process of that succession by utilizing these incredible ruminants, then why not? So this is really cool. So they are absolutely smashing the blackjacks and other weeds and they're getting good diet in the process and the sheep are looking unbelievably healthy at the moment. We have also, just for this farm, received by this beautiful animal our first lamb so it's all happening in a very short space of time we were able to implement this farm and at the same time ramp up production we did a bit of forward thinking and planning and we introduced the uh, ram to this flock before actually delivering or implementing them on this farm and yeah it's showing dividends we've already already had our first lamb so very exciting very cool